Look at this owl. This owl has my frog in his... Look at him. I hooked him, dude. No way, bro. What am I gonna do? Is this a bad time to tell you that I have like a pretty moderate phobia of birds? Dude, this is gonna be bad. Yeah, I do have gloves. Not long ago, I decided to ditch the corporate grind to pursue my passions for traveling and the great outdoors. So I sold everything, moved into a trailer full time, and now I'm fishing my way across the entire country. There you go, fish out. Look at that. You're watching Field Trips with Robert Field. That was insane. Looks pretty fishy, huh? Looks super fishy. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Field Trips, the last episode of Field Trips here in Georgia. So we stopped here at this kind of little swampy slough area. I saw on the Fish Brain app that people had been catching some bass, and more importantly, some bowfin in here. Bowfin or mudfish is a fish I've never caught, one that I would love to catch. We're gonna give this a shot. We are both kind of flying blind. Hopefully we can figure them out. Well, it was definitely a bow fin because one of the little legs of my frog has been bitten off. There we go. <laughs> that was a solid blow up, dude. Grabbed it, I felt the weight. And there it went. That was a massive bow fin, it looked like. Bow fin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, get him, get him. He's gonna pull me in these trees though, dude. Nah, it might be a bass. There it is, man. Yeah, we were thinking only the bowfin would hit top water right now since it's been so cold. We were wrong. That is a healthy, healthy fish. Nice fish, dude. On the top water. That fish shot out from in that grass and annihilated my bait. That was a big fish. I don't know. Oh, yeah, it took both tails. Oh, That's bowfin. Dude, that was a monster. That was a big bowfin. Just smacked this thing. Got him. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, dude. Good fish. Bowfin are chewing. We just can't seem to land any of them. But the bass are also chewing. And there he goes. Good fish on, exploded on the Spro hollow body frog. Pretty much the second it hit the water. Oh yeah, not as big as Shane's. That was fun. I cannot seem to hook one of these bowfin. Beautiful fish, so much fun. I love these dark colors on these Florida strain bass. Nice, all right. Got the skunk off, feeling good, feeling better. Oh, there he is. Nice. Shane's on again. Another bass. Nice, dude. Beautiful fish. You can tell the difference, though. That, you know, those bowfin, they kind of more swirl on it. Yeah. Whereas that bass, I mean, just annihilated it, yeah. The daggone bowfin just turned into one of them bass fish. I mean, I was thinking, like, if that's a bass. This owl just tried to get my frog. <laughs> dude, that was unreal, bro. No, of course I wasn't recording. I'm never recording when the good stuff happens. This owl just tried to smash my spro frog. Cannot believe that. Of course, I missed the owl coming down, swooping at it right in front of my boat. But there he is hanging out, trying to figure out how he missed that frog. <laughs> that was cool. This owl has my swim bait, or my frog, in his... Look at him. I hooked him, dude. No way, bro. I have an owl on. There is an owl that just came down for the second time to hit my spro frog, and I've got him hooked. Look at him. I didn't even set the hook or anything. Dude? What am I gonna do? Is this a bad time to tell you that I have like a pretty moderate phobia of birds? Okay. What am I gonna do? I no. Know. I got it. You got your gloves? Dude, this is gonna be bad. Yeah, I do have gloves. I cannot believe he came back a second time. 
Yeah. I'll get it if you're scared no. of birds. You should definitely record. Oh, I'm recording. Look at this. Are you? Yeah. I'll do it with my phone, too. Oh, he's oh, off. He let go. He's off. We he gotta get go. him out, though. You don't think you can take off in the water? No, uh-uh. Maybe lift your paddle up on him. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. Thank God he let go. Let's see if we can't help this guy take off. Oh, he might get it. Oh, he's close. Hey, buddy. It's okay, man. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm gonna try to help you out. It's okay. Oh, wow, that is a creepy bird. Come on, buddy. There he goes. <laughs> Unreal, dude. I cannot believe. I watched him fly off. You think he's cool right there? I thought he was gone. Yeah, he's good there. He's in a tree. I watched him take off. I thought he was gone. And then sure enough, he came out of nowhere. I don't know if I hooked him or if he was just hold on to it, but I mean, it sure seemed like I hooked him because he seemed like he was trying to get away. That is wild, dude. Hope you learned a lesson, homie. Unreal. Well, that is my new personal best owl for sure. Yeah, so a lot of people don't know this about me, but I actually have like a Pretty irrational fear of birds in general, with owls being the creepiest bird of them all. Dude, like he was facing away from me, and I came up close to him, and he turned his head all the way around. I about had a, I about pee a little bit. Like that was <laughs> so creepy. Like it was one thing when he missed it the first time. I was like, okay, yeah, it happens. But he he knows now. He saw me. No, he didn't care. He came right back for it. That is a new one. Epic owl fishing here in uh, South Georgia. If he goes for a third time, I'm not even gonna feel bad. Fool me once, <laughs> shame on you. <laughs> Keep fooling me. Keep fooling me. I'm just a stupid bird. Yes! Yes! Yeah! Yeah! Oh god, he's in this stuff. Oh my god. Oh my god. No! <laughs> it's a pickerel. <laughs> I was like, it's not a bass! No way! I've never been so stoked to not catch a bass in my life. <laughs> oh my gosh, here we are in overtime. I thought that was it. I thought that was my bowfin. I saw it come up. I saw teeth. Oh, about had a heart attack. It is not a bowfin it is a chain pickerel so this is basically a little baby pike they don't get much bigger than this uh, they don't get nearly as big as pike they're kind of big brothers so that is the chain pickerel and while it is not the bowfin we came here looking for that right there is a new species for me never caught one of these guys and i feel something in his stomach that is still moving dude Feels like a big, like a fish, like a, like a bluegill or something. Dude, it's still squirming in there. Ugh. Anyways, chain pickerel, new species for me. Not the uh, epic bowfin mudfish that have been just terrorizing me all day, but I will take it. Let this guy go. Back into the murk. Oh my God, I've never been so excited. Dude. I thought that was it. I'm like, dude, overtime, the sun has set and there he is. And not until it was about two feet away from the boat did I realize these are not the droids we were looking for. I cannot believe these bowfin have bested me like this, dude. Like I set the hook on that fish like harder than I've ever set the hook in my whole life, dude. That chain pickerel <laughs> crossed his eyes. Well, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of Field Trips. We are out of daylight. Uh, we had plenty of opportunities with these bowfin, these mudfish, these grenel, as I've heard them called in Alabama. Uh, just could not get them hooked. I mean, it wasn't even about landing them. It was just getting them hooked. Uh, I probably missed about a dozen. I'd say Shane missed even more. They were busting the top water. We just couldn't get it done, but... Shane got multiple nice bass. Uh, I got a pretty good bass, lost another one right at the boat. And then I got that chain pickerel, not the new species off the list. So all in all, super fun day exploring some completely foreign water. Uh, we really didn't know what to expect other than what, than what we saw on the Fish Brain app. And sure enough, this place delivered and we will be adding a few more catches to the Fish Brain app for this body of water.
I kind of figure like maybe if I keep telling the camera like, all right, that's it, then like then I'll catch one, you know, like like the old like last cast. How epic would that be now if I got one? Yeah. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Like I'll I'll definitely poop my pants now if I get one. Like I have not pooped today. I am holding it back with concerted effort. If I get one of these both in a stick, I'm gonna I'm gonna lose it, and it'll be so worth. I won't even be mad. I would poop my pants for a bowfin right now. Like that is a fair trade. Bring it on. Give me the bobo. 